people have been asking, why doesn't economics have a Brian Cox? We need to ask ourselves what it is that someone like Brian Cox does so well. When we think about communication, we think about delivering the facts, speaking slowly and clearly. It's not really about that. It's about engaging people with a sense of wonder and curiosity about the world around them. Anybody can do that, any scientist can do that, and any economist can do that, if only we try. So we use a lot of jargon among ourselves. It's shorter, it's convenient, but it doesn't mean anything to people who are not economists. So don't use the acronyms, don't use the jargon, make the language accessible. I think the first thing that economists should do is really get organised. Scientists have the Royal Society, which interact with the media, so they know what the consensus view is. Economists can better engage with the public by making sure they go out and meet the public. The more we talk to people, the more that we can explain carefully what's going on so they can make better decisions about the world. We work on what taxes they should be paying, where that money goes, but we talk in terms of GDP and competition and so on. We need to relate those economic concepts to everyday experience. We have done a piece of research comparing the use of Twitter of top academic economists and top academic scientists. Top academic scientists are much better at using language that isn't too complex, at not using acronyms, at mentioning other people, and at using more inclusive language. It's not just about speaking more loudly or reiterating the points that you've already made in perhaps a slightly different way, but sometimes it's about finding a different language. And it's very, very similar to teaching students because you need to put yourself into the position of the people who are receiving the communication that you're actually giving. In order to engage with the public, we need also to engage with the type of news that the public are receiving. For instance, the 10 p.m. news, because those are the type of news that the public are actually watching. We ask people what particular issues concern them in their day-to-day -day lives. And the number one thing which stood out was rising prices. If we don't talk about the issues which people are concerned with, we are not going to be relevant in their day-to-day -day lives. Sometimes we talk about GDP as it's the same for everybody. It's not. And the more that economists can think about other people's circumstances and what really matters to them, the better I think they can do their job in communicating to the wider public.